two Brewster Buffaloes took off from Java for a routine patrol around the Sunda Strait in the early morning hours of March 6, 1942. Activity in the area has been low for the past couple of days, so the pilots were not expecting to see much. At 10 o'clock, however, they got a lucky break. Spotting one lone vessel through the cloud layer, they swooped down to investigate. Sure enough, it was a lone Japanese warship heading straight for Batavia. The Buffalo successfully returned to base and reported their sighting. Submarine 019 maneuvered into position to engage the lone warship. The enemy will pay for underestimating our defenses near and around Java. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to War on the Sea with the Abdicom mod. O-19 has maneuvered into position to intercept a lone Japanese warship heading towards the contested port of Batavia. Let's bring up the UI here and let's raise our scope and see where our friend is. Okay, there she is. She's way over there. We have our Brewster Buffaloes in the area. Those are the same Buffaloes which actually spotted the target. There we go, looking good. Hello there. All right, let's come right. We want to engage with our bow tubes. Let's also increase our speed to nine knots here. Let's set up our torpedoes because we definitely want to sink this thing. Primarily because, again, it's heading towards Batavia, so it can be assumed that they are going to attempt to bombard the port, which we do not want. Two degree spread, we're going to try to get as close as possible and hopefully four fish will at least cripple her so we can swing around and engage with our stern tubes. All right, there she is. Not too far away. I want our buffaloes to kind of stay out of the area. I don't want to alert the heavy cruiser. All right, still coming around and closing. Let's go to the scope and identify the target. Looks like that is a Miyoko, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, Miyoko. There she is. Yeah, three turrets bow, two aft, two stacks. Let's go ahead and first off target her and mark it. Start building that solution up. Rudder amidships, by the way. We can actually adjust, come left a little bit. Perfect, thank you. I want to try to get as close as possible because we're three kilometers away from the target. That's a little far. I'd like to see how close we can get to ensure some hits here because our solution's only 14% as well. That is not great. What's the target speed? 26 knots. Wow, this is going to be a tough one. Let's come left a bit. See, okay, rudder midships, there we go. Let's try to close this gap. Time to fire is rapidly approaching. We are at 2,500 meters. Let's increase that spread to three degrees. Actually, no, two degrees at this range should be fine. Let's get ready, fire in a few seconds. Solution is not great. Not great at all. Around 40%. All right, we should be clear to fire. All right, firing bow tubes. Two, and that's three, and four is away. All right, four fish away. Keep on closing in on the target. Speed back up. Here's hoping we get some hits and cripple this thing, and we can finish it off with our stern tubes if these hits don't sink her. That solution being so low is worrisome, but I'm thinking it should work out for us. I'd rather not have our port bombarded and our airfield reduced down a level. We are winning the ground war pretty easily, so I'd like to retain all of our assets in this area. Torpedoes are closing in on the Miyoko. The spread looks dang near perfect. We may miss with one torpedo. It is hard to tell at this point. Let's go underwater and take a look. That 
Looks fantastic. Yeah, it looks like we may miss with fish number four. One hit. One dud. Two duds. Okay, only one hit. Wow, two dud torpedoes. What absolute rotten luck. She is slowing down, though. She is slowing down. Are we reloading bow tubes? They're not ready yet. Okay, let's see if we can close in. She is drastically slowing down, and that turn is not helping whatsoever. Reloading in 129 seconds. Oh boy, speed is 19 knots. I mean, she's still going pretty darn fast. Two dud torpedoes, what luck. That is atrocious. <laughs> We've been so lucky with 019 torpedoes, and now we get two duds. Solution's rising, though. Her speed's going back. Uh, it's going to be tough here. We'll see what we can manage. Well, the Miyoko is racing away. It looks like she has recovered. She's going 22 knots. Unfortunately, we're not going to catch her. So let's go ahead and leave combat. She's going to bombard the port. Has minor damage now. Continue. Yeah, because we positioned ourselves right in front of the port. Let's see it happen. Maybe? Maybe the port will not be bombarded. We can see... The situation at Batavia is looking pretty darn good. And there... No, that's something different. That's something different going away. Maybe... Actually, no, that's probably the heavy cruiser. It looks like it got torpedoed and ran right away. So you know what? I'm going to call that a mission success. Not exactly the objective I wanted. I wanted to sink her and get the command points. But if we deterred the ship from bombarding the port, then we're good. And we're also holding on pretty well down here. 019 is going to hang out right there. Meanwhile, Task Force Basilisk is going to unload some supply they have at this port, and that should allow us to replenish our aircraft on this airfield. The rest of the theater has gone rather well. We have eight ships down here. They have been kind of heading towards Sarabaya and probing it. I'm not really worried about it. It's mostly destroyers, so I don't want to waste our aircraft on it. However, we have detected a Japanese task force in the Indian Ocean that is threatening our convoys. It is one light cruiser and two destroyers, so we have our three Dutch light cruisers heading to the area to assist and hopefully find them and sink them. These guys do have some float planes, so I am going to have them start launching them and searching for that task force. The rest of the theater has been pretty quiet though overall. And uh, hopefully it stays that way and allows us time to build up on Java. We found them. Our float planes from our Dutch task force have found the three warships that have been causing some trouble here. It is in fact one light cruiser and two destroyers. They are going to close in and hopefully engage them. They're not far away at all. Okay, they are about two hours away. Let's try to find them there. There's multiple task force hanging out around here. This task force of eight ships, it's one cruiser and six destroyers. They just sailed by Sarabaya and left. I'm gonna let them do that. It's not worth sinking to destroyers. We don't get command points. Uh, the only time it's really worth it is whenever they are, you know, unloading troops and supply at Batavia, for example, which it doesn't seem they've really done. One thing I do want more of here is supply, however. But, that will be this task force's job. We have some fuel and troops. I think we are going to unload this at Surabaya. Yeah, that's probably our best bet here. Anyway, that's the current situation. Hopefully we can track that task force down and sink them. Now, I'm curious, do I have any aircraft capable of reaching it out there? I don't think so, but we can try. Maybe at the max limit of these Hudson's range. Well, here's another development. It looks like we have another Japanese task force here. This one is different. Uh, this is one heavy cruiser, two light cruisers. Let's begin this and take a look. I think we've encountered this one before as well. Not seeing anything out there. Okay, yeah, different. Yeah, we've definitely encountered at least these destroyers before. And here's the heavy cruiser to Cal class and a light cruiser. Oof, this is a tough one as well. We are not going to be able to fight this one in a surface engagement. However, 
Eh, it's possible if we sink that heavy cruiser. Or at least majorly cripple it with Hudson's. Okay, let's retreat. Good to know. It looks like the Indian Ocean is going to be a hot spot here. We also get USS Houston and Exeter in about four days, I think, for both of them. That will definitely help us resolve this situation. Regardless, we need to make sure we route our convoys away from this task force, that's for sure. Okay, interesting situation for sure. We're going to keep tabs on them. And uh, hopefully they don't encounter one of our convoys. I'm thinking, actually, it may be a good idea to keep heading this way. One thing I do want to do in the near term as well is take McAskar here. I want to send a landing force up here, take it quickly, and don't and not I don't want to bombard the port because we want this level three airfield. So that is something else I do want to do, and I think that'll definitely help us secure our convoy routes up here. Um that's the only area I really want to capture. Everything else we can kind of just bombard. I feel like. like this place has a level one port level three port level four airfield up here yeah i think sending fleets to bombard these would be good however i mean in this campaign we are very limited on heavy cruisers so uh not really something i think we can afford to do all that much but taking this airfield to help secure our convoy routes i think will be a good move in the near term here we go more Japanese float planes. Once again, are heading towards this task force in the Indian Ocean. All ahead flank, let's start moving and kind of scatter here. Hopefully we can shoot down loads of them before they get too close. Break formation, 33 knots. Let's get moving. They're already heading straight for us. Okay, you're good. They are not going for you. It looks like they may be going for Trump here. So Trump needs to hurry up and turn around before they drop their fish. Sumatra come right as well. There we go. Their torpedoes are away. Shot one down. Come on, shoot the rest down. They're so slow. Can't let them get away with that. There we go. Looking good. Looks like we're clear of those fish. Another flight's coming in. Get rid of them. Okay, they dropped their torpedoes. Don't know. Maybe going for Sumatra. Okay, we'll have Sumatra turn a bit. All right, last flight is heading in rapidly. Probably going for Sumatra by the looks of things. Rudder amidships. Yeah, definitely going for Sumatra. Shot two down. Come on, one more. Get it. Three. Shot down. Beautiful. And here we go. This is dangerous. Rudder midships. Right full rudder. Perfect. <laughs> Wow, okay. There we go. Well, that's what they get. Let's leave combat now. They lost five aircraft, sent nine at us. Continue on. Okay, and let's keep tracking down that little Japanese task force, the big one we want to avoid. However, we still want to scout for it, of course. Here we go, folks. It has happened. We have made contact with the enemy. They actually have appeared behind us have been detected by our float plane, which needs to get out of here. And we are going to turn around and increase speed. We are in a line ahead formation. Let's increase speed. You, why are you shooting? Hold fire. Cease fire. Don't engage at this range. Additionally, I do want to put some space between us. 750 yards should do it in our formation. There we go. I don't think we actually have radar, but let's go ahead and flip that anyway. And we're going to have our float plane keep tabs on the Japanese task force as we close in. We're going to have the Reuter target. What's our range? 30. <laughs> yeah, 
thir over 30 kilometers out, so we still have a while. So we're going to close in while our float plane keeps tabs on the enemy. They're sailing towards us, so it shouldn't take too long to encounter them. We definitely have this fight in the bag, though. I'm glad we found them so we can get rid of them and secure our convoy routes. It seems the enemy had the right idea and have decided to turn around and are now steaming the other direction. I don't think we're going to be able to catch them. We're still, what, 27 kilometers or so away from the enemy. So we are going to retreat from the combat area and hopefully we'll be able to re-engage them soon. We are in the right area for sure, which helps things. So, and let's keep looking for them. Hopefully we can find them as it turns night and be able to close the gap nice and close. Um, That's the current plan anyway. Everything else has been pretty quiet, but... We'll see if we are able to encounter them again. We have encountered them again, and this time they are close. We need to turn left. They are still behind us again. I, this encounter situation is kind of funny. We need to target number one, guns, full salvos, engage with armor piercing, engage target one, tromp, engage target one, and you know what, Sumatra. Sumatra, you can engage the destroyers. Fire high explosive, please. Send it, send it, send it, send it. And you know what, Sumatra? Actually fire some star shells first. One salvo of star shells towards the target. Aircraft, single aircraft spotted overhead. Okay, switch back to high explosive, engage. Deroiter, increase speed 33 knots. Something's already smoking out there. I can't tell. It's probably the Masuki. What's this plane doing? Flying directly overhead. Well, another aircraft. Yeah, she's already been hit. <laughs> Not entirely surprising. Nagara is engaging. Looks like she's probably been hit as well. Our fire is already very accurate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Play smoke. Break formation. All head flank. Damage control. Okay, we have a single fire behind us. Minor damage. Yeah, break formation. These other two loop around. Okay, rudder amidships. I think all guns can bear on target. You're doing okay. Oof. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Just get out of here. Oh, okay. Phew. Thought that was about to hit one of our ships. There was a magazine explosion on the Mitsuki. Nagara's primary, though. The Reuters engaging Nagara. Trump is engaging Nagara. Ugh. Keep running, though. Some... That, that hurts. I mean, it's minor. It looks worse than it is. It looks worse than it is. Let's just keep reminding ourselves that. All right, the Reuter. How's it looking? Enemies laying smoke. Nagara is on fire. Okay. Okay, the forward guns switch to high explosive. Let's try to cause some more fires on that thing. Sumatra. Still engaging the Mitsuki. Oh my gosh, Why don't waste the ammo. Engage number two. Engage number two. All right, Tromp, how's it looking? Damage control. Okay, work on the fires. Work on the fires. Keep running. Unfortunate that she got primaried like that. The Nagara does send a lot of rounds our way for sure. Okay, the second little destroyer sailing around. She looks fine. This thing is done for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is she even returning fire? Doesn't look like it. Looks like her guns are quiet. The Nagara has developed a list to port already as well. All right. 
This is a pretty good fight underway. It looks like Trump is no longer being shot at. Let's kill the. Let's stop the smoke. Stop playing smoke. Start turning back around. Damage control working on fires all around. Good. The crew is doing this automatically. All right. We can slow down as well. Go down to 16 knots and come around. For some reason, we actually. There we go. We lost contact for a second there. Okay. Engage that Nagara. Engage her. Please finish her off. Both ships. Everyone engaged the Nagara. Another Japanese float plane flying overhead. The Reuter. Looks like we have a fire. Two fires and some flooding. All right. Trump. Solutions building on Nagara. Nagara does not look good. Yeah, she looks absolutely terrible. The Reuter, two fires, minor damage, not too serious. Let's hope this doesn't spread. Keep on closing. Change course slightly, come right a bit. Make sure our rear turrets are in action. Okay, she is roasting. Come on some good hits. Make sure... Let's go to Nero. Fire. All guns. Fire. Armor piercing. Back to AP. Sumatra. What are you shooting? Switch to high explosive. Just send it. And Tromp. Looking good. Okay. I'm really focused on the Reuter because she seems to be taking the bulk of enemy fire now. Another fire has broken out. One fire is under control. 12 seconds till the other's under control. Then we all just have one. Good. Good, 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 good. This thing looks in pretty rough shape. Bracketing the Nagara. She's closing in. We do need to be cautious of enemy torpedoes as well. That's something I'm kind of worried about. Looks like Tromp may be repaired. Yeah, for the most part, we got all the fires and stuff out. Increase speed. Close in rapidly. We do have torpedoes on Tromp, however, I don't really want to use those. Switch to high explosive. Fire that at the Nagara. Not like she's very heavily armored. Actually... You know what? Send some star shells their way. That should help. And we're going to bring our rear turret into action here. Oh, we're nice and close. There we go. Good hits. Good hits. Okay, how many salvos of star shells? Do one more. Okay, switch to high explosive and keep engaging. Yeah, there we go. Looks like the Nagara has had enough and she is turning around. The Reuter is starting to take a beating. So we are going to turn around ourselves. Moderate damage. We have quite a few fires on board. Let's work on all of them. However, this Nagara looks rough. Trump, keep closing in. Yeah, I'm seeing 90 seconds on that guy. 120 seconds on that one. Sumatra, go ahead and break. Keep heading straight. Keep engaging that Nagara. She's still returning fire, surprisingly. No magazine explosions or anything nice. But we are just rapid firing here. And then Tromp. Come back around now that your damage is repaired. And finish her off. It looks like she is losing speed. Screws are still turning. She's making six knots. 
I mean, look at that list. Another fire has broken out on the Nagara. I think she is done for. We are going to keep primarying her, however, because she is causing the most damage to Deroiter. Oh my gosh, look at all these fires. Okay, okay, don't like that. Smoke, play smoke. Damage control. Okay, should be fine. Play smoke. Come on, finish her off. Thing's tough. The Japanese ships are always, uh, bigger bullet sponges than ours, it seems. Regardless, this is our victory here. We have one. I don't think we're going to lose any ships. Just check, make sure everyone's still working on fires. Automatically went to a fire. Working on the internal fires. Good. Trump, how's it going? Oh my gosh, look at that explosion. Then we have two little destroyers. This Mitsuki is somehow still seaworthy. She's still afloat. Sumatra will make quick work of her. Sumatra really is the perfect ship to engage these little destroyers. Keep bracketing her. Narrow. Narrow. Perfect. The Nagara's guns have fallen silent. It's time to switch targets. Engage number two. Engage number two, Sumatra. We have one fire. Work on it. Okay, we can cease the smoke. Stop blank smoke. Charge this thing and sink it. Oh my gosh, is the Nagara actually still firing? No, it's not. Her guns are quiet. Unless I'm insane. Okay, engage this Minikaze. Right full rudder. Give it a full broadside here. Make sure we are firing high explosive. High explosive. We have 203 rounds of high explosive. Deroiter, engage her. Make sure you are engaging with high explosive as well. Spot as well. Okay, you can stop. You can slow down first off. Let's try to control the spread of fires on the deck. Yeah, slow up. Also, stop blowing smoke. No need to do that. Sumatra. Okay, the Minikaze is getting bracketed. You're nice and close. It should not be too hard. Rudder amidships. There we go. Send her to the bottom. Tromp. Yeah, no need to tromp. Just hold fire. Hold fire. Don't use any more ammo. Don't use any more than needed. There we go. Beautiful explosion amidships. Fire has started. I am worried about torpedoes, but not too worried. But I uh, don't think they've launched them. There we go. Already making quick work of her. Okay, well, we received one hit, and uh, I guess we had a bunch of oily rags on the deck or something because the entire deck <laughs> is now on fire. Um, we're going to take care of these fires. We're going to start turning around, though. There we go. Minikaze is sunk. Engage the Mitsuki. There we go. Yeah, she hit us like once and then everything erupted and on fire. This thing does not look good. This Mizuki. And it's only going to be a few seconds here. There we go. And our damage looks worse than it is. We'll be able to recover here. Let's reduce speed down to eight knots. Oh, what the heck was that? Okay, now we have some flooding. Okay. Moderate damage, minor flooding. We're okay. Everyone's working on the fires. There we go. Beautiful explosion on the Mitsuki. Is she returning fire? Doesn't look like she is, so it's just a turkey shoot. Gunnery practice. The two destroyers have been taken care of. The Nagara has started firing once again at Tromp here, so time to let her have it. Plug her full of holes. Nice and close. I kind of figured the Nagara would just burn and sink on her own. However, she is not. 
two destroyers have been taken care of. Sumatra, go ahead and engage there. I could launch torpedoes at the Nagara. We have three torpedoes a pop. Okay, two torpedoes. Uh, one torpedo. Come right. Oh my gosh, of course. All right, come right. Get ready to fire that one fish. Rudder amidships. Fire. There we go, one fish away. Keep engaging. Start laying smoke. Okay. Well, magazine explosion. <laughs> magazine explosion finisher. No need to launch the torpedo, but there we have it. Okay. The enemy task force has been eliminated. Just minor damage. Sumatra is burning. Has some fires. We'll be able to take care of that. Yeah. A lot of this damage can be fixed relatively easily. Nothing really destroyed. It looks like this funnel was destroyed. I... I'm sure that torpedo will land home, but there we go. One threat eliminated. Now we just have that task force in the Indian Ocean that has a heavy cruiser. We are going to need to hit that with air power. All of the fires have been put out. Everything's looking good. Let's go ahead and retreat. Leave the combat area. Three ships sunk, one command point gained for all of that. Moderate damage on a couple of ships, but that will be cleared up here. And the threat to our convoy lines has been reduced. Now we just need to find that other task force and start hitting it with air power. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.